Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls Tabletop News with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan! Yes. Uh, what do we got today, man? We have a new game from Simon Games. This is Ethnos. 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 Well, uh, so, uh, okay. It looks cool, but what, yes. what is it? It's kind of a uh, territory owning game okay. where you play different tribes and it's kind of you want to match sets and stuff like that uh, okay. with colors and with the symbols. Um, um, so it's a cool game, little game. It's fun. Okay, and <laughs> it, is for, it is from Simon. Yes. And they, they have a pretty good track record. And it has this cool kind of like Nordic yeah. mythology theme to it. Ooh. I'm excited to show that off. Yeah. All right. I'm surprised Drake didn't bring this one. <laughs> he <laughs> is right. Thor. Yes, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hop in and take a look at Ethnos. Ethnos from Simon. Look at this artwork. I like it. It's There's a like skeleton hand just flying in the air. Hey man, it happens. <laughs> so let's take a look at the back. Right on. It's uh, not a complex game, I would say. It's actually nice and like, not simple, but nice and like straightforward. It's lighter. Yeah, I guess you could say. Um, it's really cool. We'll go over it, but there's like different tribes that are in play every game. Yeah. And the map's really cool. Uh, this is like a fantasy setting, but like with Nordic themes to it. Yeah. So yeah, let's just one of my favorite open. settings. Nordic. Too. Yeah. Nordic fantasy stuff is fun. Totally though. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, very we'll metal. We will go over this in a second. Let's start off with the board. Ooh, board's right on top. Okay. Nice and colorful. Uh, it's not a big board too, it's only one fold out. Okay. And this is just the setting. So oh, this wow. is kind of a, uh, I guess if you could say, like an area control and a, a bit. So it's broken down into ages. Okay. Uh, so the first age, you'll have points on each first age. Okay. And the points go up throughout the ages, so third age will have more the points, points than, yeah. Okay. Um, and how it works is if you have the most of your tokens on one area, you get the points depending for on that what, age. for that age. Yeah. yeah. And we got the point tracker on the, the board. Yeah. The board. And we'll okay. go over how to go put tokens on the board, but that's the basic concept of the game. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, okay. So that's, there are different areas that you're trying to, yeah. to capture. And they are color co coded. Okay, yeah, there's so. purple, red, green, blue, and orange, and gray. Yeah. So, let's go over some punch outs real quick. Uh, we have these punch outs now. It's really cool if there's different there's different factions, I guess you could say, in game, each mm -hmm. each game. So if you, for instance, have goblins in play, every player will get these. Uh, and these are basically like another thing you can do to get points. You can oh. put other tokens on this, these to get more points. Giants are the same. Uh, if you if you have played the largest band in play, which we'll go over what bands are in a second, uh, with a giant leader, score two points. So there's just other ways you can score, but like oh, okay. it adds some variety. Okay, so there's, there's multiple ways to gain points. It's exactly, just focusing yeah. On the board. Uh, oh. Depending on what factions like are playing that game. Flip over, that's what the back front, front and back, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, for instance, there's the Mer people too. Mer they have their people. whole like big chart uh, that is in the center of the game, uh, the table. So they're basically a different zone. Yeah, in, in oh, a little way. bit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and every player can try to get points from them. Okay. That's what the back looks like. And then we see the punch outs. So it looks like uh, oh, yeah, yeah, these yeah. are the punch outs for the the ages, probably. Yeah, these are for the points that you put on the map. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. And so you'll put like you'll shuffle them, and then you pull three down for each. Um, randomly for each section of the board and you'll have to put an order from lowest to highest Got if it's you. a tie you'll just you know keep it you know, keep it there uh so there one section could have three sixes in a row for each age oh it's totally random but it will go up over time yeah it will well if there's ideally. three sixes yeah ideally it should go up over time yeah like there should be like a two because you, well, you're placing them in, in lowest to the highest yes order. always but, but the ages it will it can vary which is cool yeah it's very yeah it can yeah. vary very much <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are gonna be like your player tokens. Okay. These are what you're putting on the board. Uh, they're a really cool design. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, uh, and they stack. They like stack oh, on top wow. of each other. That is super cool. Yeah, let me go ahead over. And you get all these different sets. So yeah. it's like sets for different colors. Yep. Uh, yeah. Six sets of, of, of colors. But yeah, they stack together oh, like wow. that, and then you put them on the board. That's uh, a pretty so smart. It's not one. just a mess everywhere. And they're they're not gonna slide around once no. they're stacked up, which is. Super uh, nice. And that's a really nice place that you can keep them in yeah. these rows. I like uh, the vacuum form, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's very nice. We have these cards, these are the uh, age cards, I guess you could say. Uh, oh, these are the tribe cards. So you'll put these down now. Some tribes will not be in play every game. Oh. So it adds some variety. So like the mer people might not be in Might play not be in this version in, or this game. In that, that, yeah, in your specific game. So it just adds some variety in the different ways you can win. There's also these dragons. Now these dragons keep track of how much longer each age lasts. Okay. There's three dragons, and once you uncover the third dragon, that age ends. Which is like, that's how it ends. Um, but 
the concept the of this Dragon Age. Game. Yeah, the Dragon Age. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, let's go over and look in the bottom. There's nothing in the bottom, but yeah. we do like the vacuum form. That's yeah. Cool. Uh, we might as well just go into the rule book. You want? Let's yeah. dive right in. We're diving right in. We're doing it live. Here we go. Here's doing it live. All right. So yeah, this is the rule book. Uh, there is the back. We'll go over that. It has a rules. Summary. It's just a summary. Yeah, it's a little quick reference guide. So. Uh, uh, how do we? How do you win? There's the game overview right there. Just having the most points by the end of the third age. Third age, uh, most and points. there's that the point tracker at the bottom. Now, so the, at least that part's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Well, the whole game is too. But it's yeah, very straightforward. Yeah. Now you might be wondering how do you put tokens. That's on the, the other territories. question I had. You're gonna be building parties with the tribes people, uh, oh. and making a leader on those parties, and then the leader determines where you're trying to go on each section. So. How does that? How do they determine that? Like by color? By, by color. Race? Okay. Yes. So, let's go over this. For instance, this one, uh, playing a band of allies. They're called bands of allies. So you have to match each band with either the symbol that's in the top left corner of each card cool. or by the color. So this one doesn't doesn't match because all the symbols, are not the, the symbols don't all match and the colors don't all match. Makes so that's sense. not a band. So it's kind of a card set matching game. Yeah. If that makes sense. Now the top card in your band is your leader. So this one in the middle, for instance, the top card is a green card. That means it's gonna go for the green section on the map. Okay. Yeah. Now, once you're done with building your band, you have to build one more person in your band uh, than the amount of tokens you already have in that section. Okay, so if I had no tokens there... Then you just need one person. But if I had five tokens there... You need six people in your band. Makes sense Makes to me. sense, yeah. I don't know if you can have six people. Yeah. But you, but so if you're idea. desperately trying to get a section and someone else is vying for it, you, you're gonna have to use more and more people in your okay. bands. Um, and you're also probably going for similar sets or something like that. Yeah, probably, yeah, because it's green, green yeah. area, so people are gonna try to get the you're green You're gonna parties. try to yeah. match by color or by the yeah. set, so you can kind of see if they're, you know. Exactly. Okay. Okay. The leader of your card also gets to use their ability. Every faction gets to use a different ability. I know that like the, the, uh, the bird people, they can, if they're the leader of your band, they can go anywhere on the board. Uh, not they can just fly or yeah. something. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they can carry people. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlike the Hobbit. Eagles. Uh, um, and so wow. they are cool because no matter what color they are, they can go anywhere on the board. That's cool. They're pretty useful. Yeah. Uh, and again, like I said, tribes. Not all tribes or bands are gonna be in okay. play. So uh, every game totally different. This will just go over. Really value. Yeah. This will just go over the age and how to make bands. Uh, how to play bands. You also get more points. Uh, let me bring out the board real quick to show you. You get points on the band size too, over here. So if it's one card, oh. you get zero points. But the higher, like if you have six people in your band, you can also get 15 points that you can keep track of. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it, 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 it pays to yeah. get So if, you, if, you're, okay. like, if people are really going for like uh, Duris, uh, and like you keep trying, it still pays to like keep trying for that area. Okay, yeah, you can still stay in the game yeah. that way too. Uh, and then the end of the age. At the end of the age is when you score the points for, for whoever has the most. Yeah, the so market. like if there's three points in the first age and the end of the first age is over, who has the most tokens on this area and the end of the first age gets that many points. You just okay. keep track of it. Yeah. Like I said, it's not a complex game. It's very yeah. straightforward. Um, oh yeah, this is going to that chart again, stuff like that. New age dawn, so there are three ages in the game. If you're playing with two or three players, I think there's only two ages. Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, um, <laughs> the tribes, of, this is going to go over the tribes, the different tribes that are in the game. And again, the tribes do vary. It's not always the yeah. same tribes in the game. And it's cool too. They have little backstories and everything yeah. like that. Um, but they also go over like their special abilities. You know, there's a tribe of orcs, there's a tribe of skeletons, stuff like that. Uh, and then the credits. It's not a very long rule book, not a lot no. to read. Um, once you get the concept of the game, it's very simple. And I think I've already yeah. got the concept and I kind of want to play right now. Let's go play. Let's do it. Um, right, we're going to take a break and go play. Just kidding. But we'll talk <laughs> out real fast for a recap of Ethnos. Well, that was Ethnos. Really cool looking game. I yeah. like the mechanics of it. The mm -hmm. art style, awesome. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. like this Nordic so, style going yeah. for it. Uh, I like the tribe system. Yeah. Where tribes are different every game, so you yeah. have a lot of replayability and for they sure, all have sure. different. Uh, skill sets and stuff like that, so it's very cool. Yeah, I, I also like the fact that it's a it's a board game with the cards. You, you you are card matching, but there's multiple ways to match the cards. Yeah. So it, it keeps it uh, it keeps it fresh. Mm -hmm. I also really like the way they did the ages. Yeah. Oh, if the ages behind, behind. Yeah. You can you can catch up in a later age. Because there's more points for each age. So yeah. I mean, like it's more risky, I guess you could say. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's crunch some numbers on this real fast. Uh, this is two to six players. Yes. Uh, and what was the playtime result? 45 to 60 minutes. Makes solid sense. game. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, recommended age is 14 and up, and that's probably just because of the strategy. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really see anything in the artwork or anything. No. Uh, it's violent. not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what's the price point on this one? 39.99. That's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah. I was expecting 50 bucks. So yeah. That's not bad at all. Actually, yeah. for everything in there, I'm, I'm 
pretty oh, good sure. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And this is from Simon again. So yes. again, uh, if you like their stuff, they have a pretty solid track record in my book. So. And it's brand new in stores right now. Yeah. So go check it out. I'm Adam here from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Larry Comics Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.